What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down how to run a perfect rocker step. So we're going to be taking a look at this rowdy from Jerry Judy that was posted a couple days ago. We're going to be talking about how he's able to restack to the inside, why a rocker step works in this case, and what the technique is behind that move specifically. So I hope this video gives you guys some value, but also fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to get stronger, you want to be more explosive off the line, you want to be faster at the top of your breaks, check out that very first link in the description, fellas, for our wide receiver gym bundle. So what you'll get access to is two months of specific workouts with specific sets and reps to help wide receivers become more explosive on the field, faster off the line, have more balance, improve your grip strength. There are specific exercises for wide receivers. It's not just exercises you can just pull off the internet. It's going to help you guys with performance on the field. So check out that very first link in the description, fellas. Hope you can check it out. Let's get started with this video. So this route from Judy here is textbook. When you take an inside release on a corner route, this is what you have to do. There's a couple different ways that you could play this thing, and this is how he plays it perfectly, right? So if I'm coming off here, you see how Judy kind of gives this little stutter, hesitation release. This DB's outside shade, right? So a lot of times releases are about reacting, especially in this case. If this DB is going to take away the outside, he's already opened up his gate right here. If I just take the outside release, he's going to force me to the sideline and I'm not going to be able to get any separation. That's if I react off of that release. I see that he jumps outside. Fine, I'll take the inside release. That's no problem. You got to trust yourself at the top of the route. Trust yourself at the top of the break, right? Because this is obviously man coverage. I got to get up into this route, especially if it's a situation where the quarterback is getting pressure. Because if he's trying to force you to the outside like this, Chances are he probably doesn't have safety help to the inside. So chances are the quarterback's probably going to be getting a little bit of pressure. So I got to make sure that I get up into this route and I got to get up into this route fast. So now let's talk about the rocker step. So when I take an inside release on a corner route, there's a couple different ways I could do this. I could either work to make sure that I restack right here and get him trailing on my back hip and get him sitting there. Or what I could do is work a throw by technique if he plays this thing well. Because if this DB's playing this thing over the top of me, I got to come back with something. I got to have a plan. So I got to make sure that I'm weary of that throw by or I could restack and work a rocker step. So now this rocker step works where the mistake a lot of people make on a rocker step is that they don't take two full steps. So like that's what it is. If you guys aren't familiar with it, what a rocker step is, is instead of just making one hard cut, like just cutting off of his left leg and going to the corner with a little head fake, he makes a double move. So he goes right then left. And when you make that right then left cut, it really sells like you're going to be going post. But this DB, where is he supposed to be watching? He's supposed to be watching my hips. So that's what I actually have to sell this route with, right? So you see how Judy, where the mistake a lot of people will make is like, like I said, they'll just step hard with the outside foot. It's got to be two steps, fellas. You got to be throwing those two steps and really trying to create some space. So you see, Judy does such a great job of shooting that foot down, pushing off of that step, and really selling with his upper half to the inside. This is what gets you separation right here. You actually got to sell. You actually got to throw with your shoulders and your hips to the inside because that's where that DB is supposed to be watching. Now, when I can get him to lean here, I got to make sure that I'm driving off of that cut leg, exploding off of that break, and pumping those arms so I can widen the distance and accelerate past this DB. Want to make him quit on the play, right? We want to make him pay at the top of the break. That's how I create separation. But how I keep separation is by exploding off that cut, driving my arms and accelerating out to that ball. It's a textbook rocker step there from Judy. That's exactly what you need to do. If you run a corner route with an inside release and you're able to restack, you've got to give him a fake move to the inside. You've got to get him sitting there because if you just round this thing off, he could play this thing on your inside hip and then we give him a shot at that ball and we don't want a 50-50 catch. We want just 100%. It's just me over the top. Let's watch this thing again full speed one more time. Great job reacting off the release. Great job taking the inside release and working that rocker step at the top to create easy separation. Great route there by Judy. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all on that, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I always appreciate the feedback. I always appreciate all the comments you guys leave. So again, thank you for that. And also, fellas, if you guys want to get stronger, faster, more explosive off the line, more explosive at the top of your routes, improve your grip strength and learn the specific things wide receivers need to do in the gym to help on field performance. Check out that very first link in the description, fellas, for a two month long wide receiver workout plan. Hope you could check that out soon. I'll see you guys next time.